It's time! It's time? It's time! For, For what? what? For the Curious Giraffe Show. Sit back, back and relax so We'll sing Red and laugh -o on the Curious Giraffe Show. Awesome! Welcome back, everybody. All right, so we're going to remember who the Curious Giraffes are. Now the, cha the clap changes. That's right. I see some of you doing it. We go... Flap, flap, clap, clap, flap, 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 flap. All right? Here we go. George Giraffe was curious, curious about the world. And so he was determined to find a boy or girl who would listen to his questions that were puzzling his mind. The who, the what, the when, the where, the how, and the why. Huh. Huh, 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 huh. Jeanette Giraffe was curious, curious about the world. And so she was determined to find a boy or girl who would listen to the questions that were puzzling her mind. The who, the what, the when, the where, the how, and the why. Huh, 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 huh. The kids were fascinated by the curious giraffes. Sometimes they made them wonder. Sometimes they made them laugh. Sometimes they made them think of things that questions on their mind. The who, the what, the when, the where, the how, and the why. Huh, 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 huh. All right, so I even got mixed up. So sometimes they made them wonder. Sometimes they made them laugh. Sometimes they too had questions that were puzzling their minds. The who, the what, the when, the where, the how, and the why. All right, well, thank you. And yes, would you hold up Jeanette? And now, Bella is going to help us know who's who on the Curious Crew today. What's your name, Justice? What's your name? Levi. What's your name? Sheehan. What's your name? Brendan. What's your name? Naya. What's your name, Bella? All right. Nice. Thank you. And what's my name? Dora. Very good. Excellent. Okay. So, Brendan, would you show us what you brought today? I have brought a um, puzzle globe, basically mm -hmm. of fish and wildlife in the ocean, a couple dolphins, fish, coral reef, clownfish, stuff like that. And it's all, it's all hollow inside, and it basically has been built up by spiraling around. These are all puzzle pieces. Wow. That's really cool. And they're all spiraled around up to the top. Good job. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, seriously, I had never seen one of these till Brendan showed me this one. So that's a hint about what today's show is about. So let's sing the Curious Giraffe song. And the last verse will, will help us know between what Brendan brought in and what the giraffe is wondering about today. Okay, so we're going to start with Giraffe Looked Over at the Eagle. Ready? Giraffe looked over at Eagle and said, Why was I born to walk? Why were you born to fly? Eagle just shrugged and gave a high five. Hey, we all share one big sky. Oh, yeah. Share one big sky, share one big sky, give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along, cause we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. Giraffe looked over at the earth and said, it's a very special planet with all kinds of living things. The earth smiled, yes, so keep it green and green. Then we'll all share one big sky, oh yeah. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Cause we can all share and we can all care. We all belong. So who could say what are they curious about today? Hmm, 
Sheehan, what do you think? Why are we all different? Oh, that's a really good guess because that is definitely, they're always asking questions about that. Well, yes, Maya? How we should take care of our earth because it says, yes, keep it blue and green, which means keep it nice and, like, green means, like, keeping the planet, have a lot of trees and plants and keeping it nice and green. So taking care of the diversity that's on the earth. Wonderful. Not, yes, like, Leva. Not, what she means is by, like, not littering and stuff. Exactly. Exactly. We can see the colors better if we and take care of it. I think the blue is the ocean and the green would be the land. Yeah, the plants. Yes. Yes, Bella. They might be saying, why are people just starting to fight? This doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense, does it? Usually, if we pay attention to how each other feels, we don't need to fight, right? And that's the way I like to live. Yes, Brendan. I'm curious about why people get old. Oh, <laughs> you know what? That is a fascinating question. And Brendan, I am thinking about new programs. And so I'm going to put that back here to think about. And really, truly, Brendan, I will... Uh, the giraffes and I will work on that topic. So for me, I'll tell you, all of you have touched on it. I was thinking that in April is a special day that is called Earth Day, about caring for the planet. So um, our, that's why I asked Brendan to bring in his beautiful Earth puzzle, globe. And I wanted to sing this song. Have any of you ever heard the song, This Pretty Planet? Mm -hmm. Yes and no. Okay, so this song was written by Tom Chapin, and he said we could use it on our show. So, um, it goes like this. If you know it, join in with me, but otherwise we'll sing it a few times, okay? This pretty planet, spinning through space, your garden, your harbor, your home. Kind of peaceful. Kind of peaceful and good. So my next question is, do you have a favorite place that comes to mind when you think about this pretty planet? I have one. Okay. Yes, Hawaii. Yeah. Hawaii. What do you picture when you think of Hawaii? Well, I picture me at this beach in Paia called um, Baby Beach. It's really awesome. Wow. So you got to be there. Wonderful. And Justice? Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. <laughs> and why do, you, why do you think of Trader Joe's? It's fun. It's fun. And it's on our planet. All right. That's a fun idea. Brendan? Um, I think um, also, um, just a hint, I'm asking you kind of why you thought that Hawaii about Hawaii because I think that she thought about the guitar, it sounded kind of like a ukulele. Oh, maybe it tied in with Hawaiian music. That's a cool idea. How about anybody have beautiful places around here that you enjoy? Hmm. A bear's nest. Have you seen a bear's nest? The or to forest? a bear? Yes, the forest here. The forest here? Same. I, the same. And Yes, Maya? I live close to a waterfall, so I like to go there. Watch Waterfalls it. are special to many people. And I live by the water, too. That's 
but I can enjoy the beauty anywhere, all over the planet. Okay, so, this next song is about somebody named Rachel, and let's see, uh, I guess we'll sing the story song. The chorus goes, Rachel, Rachel, the songbirds sing. May there never be a silent spring. And she is someone who... Anyway, this, the song will tell the story some, and then we'll talk about it, okay? A child named Rachel loved the outdoors. She walked through fields and woods. She walked along the shore. child just enjoyed nature, enjoyed the birds, enjoyed the sounds, and she grew up to be a scientist and a writer. I think she mentioned you might like to be a writer when you get older. And then she made a connection. They were trying to control the bugs, but if the bugs, which are food for the birds, the bugs get sick, what happens to the birds? The birds they die. And so, they get I sick. Like what it's saying by yeah. may it, there never be a silent spring. Mm -hmm. Like if the bird, if the bugs like die or mm -hmm. all get eaten, mm -hmm. and there won't be any like sounds of the bugs. And if the birds get hurt or die, there there won't be any singing. In the yes. So, she wrote about it and said. Everybody, pay attention. I've noticed there are not as many bird songs. There's not as many bug sounds. We've got to change. And she helped them realize. So let's see. Maya, have you, would you come over and get George's fact for us? This is very strong Velcro. You have to sort of have strong muscles to do that. Okay. Okay, and you can take that back. Okay, I'll keep this, and you take the paper, and go over and open it up and read it in a loud, clear voice. Wait, should I stand yourself? You can sit down. Rachel Harrison's sense of wonder. If I had influence with a good fairy, I should ask that her gift to, to each child in the world would be a sense of wonder so... Um, I don't know though. I'll show it to Brendan. Indestructible. Mm -hmm. That it would last throughout life. A sense of wonder so indestructible. What do you think indestructible? That very not, big word. Yes, Levi? Not being, uh, not like, 
Not like harming. Not harming. Anybody else, Shan? Unable to be destroyed. Unable to be destroyed. All right, great. And so I'm going to just pass this. Thank you. And so her paper showed the picture of the grown-up Rachel. And I'm just going to, as we get ready for the next song, this is a picture of the little girl Rachel. And I just thought it's hard to see, so I made a little one that you can pass around and take a look at. Okay. So I think... I think it's important to notice what you notice as a child because you might grow up and it might help the grown-ups. Yes? Did Rachel die? Well, actually, that's a really good question. I think that she did, but I will have to look that up later. I think she was a little bit ahead of my generation. I think she... But I have to look that up. That's a great question. She might have. We do. That's a life cycle. But she made her life count. And she made the world a better place. Just as Brandon right? said, why do people get old? Like, people get old and then they die, so... Yeah, yeah. We, you can keep it. Keep it. Okay? And... Okay. Oh, I forgot to tell you who wrote that Rachel song. My friends John Keenan and his wife Joanne Wilson Keenan. And they learned about Rachel and said... Wouldn't a song be a great way to share about her, her wise learning? So, this song, Walk Lightly on the Earth, is written by my friend Pam Donkin. And um, if you... Let's see. Let's just walk with our hands, okay? And you can walk lightly as we sing this I this wish song. we had a um, tiny man that could walk on my little glove, that would be cool. You know what you could do, Brendan? You could show us with light fingertips on that beautiful globe. Okay, here we go. But the rest of you could, could walk gently on your lap with your hands. Walk lightly on the earth, my friend. Walk lightly on the earth. Take care with every step, my friend. Walk lightly on the earth. People can do wondrous things with dreams that touch the skies. Symphonies, discoveries, enriching all our lives. Yet the people can bring back the animals that are gone. It's a fragile balance to Lightly on the earth, my friend, walk lightly on the earth. Take care with every step, my friend, walk lightly on the earth. And the last time, we're going to change the words right at the end. Walk lightly on the earth, my friend, walk lightly on the earth. With carbon footprints light as air, walk lightly. Okay, with carbon footprints light as air. Brendan. Carbon <laughs> is basically um, one matter of air, one ingredient with air. Okay, carbon okay. is in air, I think hydrogen and oxygen. But carbon is something that comes out of the ground and takes up a lot of energy. Keep exploring that idea, carbon Brendan. Carbon dioxide. Want... Carbon dioxide, we exhale carbon dioxide. Very good. See, it's in the air. You're absolutely right. I knew you had a... a that's exactly right. Yeah. And I wasn't thinking about that. But they say for us to use Walk things that have food. less carbon. And how to take care of the planet is taking care of what's here. Oh. So how about the water? This is a fun one. And when we do the shut off the water, don't let it run, leave a little water for everyone, Turn off the faucets when you are done. I want you to pretend to turn off two faucets when we get to the chorus, okay? Do a couple verses of this because we want to get to other songs too. Here we go. Shut off the water, don't let it run. Yes. 
just the time for me to think. Stop that water running down the sink. Shut off the water. When I finish washing my hands, here's one thing that I can't stand. If I forgot then and ran and ran. Shut off the water. One more time, the chorus. All right, great. And yes, this one is about an animal that lives in the water. And this is a little manatee oh that I got on so vacation. Cute. Now, in the wild, do they wear a nice little sweatshirt? No. <laughs> no, but it was so cute. And in the wild, they really do look just like that. Big, gray, beautiful, gentle animals. So we're going to sing this song for the world to know that we all can take care of the animals and the water and the land. Here we go. Gentle one. Mary Manatee is gentle and she's free. She's trusting you Keep her safe from harm. You can pass it on to the next person, okay? They were here before the dinosaurs. Think back, think back, think back, think back some more. For years and years and years they ate their greens. They did their part to keep the water clean. But when a speedboat speeds, it can hurt the manatee. So if you're driving, slow down, please, and watch out for manatees. Two big flippers, a white tail and back, help them to get around and get their snack. They love to body surf and barrel roll, at a thousand pounds that's quite incredible. But when a speedboat speeds, it can the manatees. So if you're driving, slow down, please, and watch out for manatees. And they grow so very large and round that some people call them sea cows. I think it's funny, but they say it's true. Although I never heard a manatee moo. But when a speedboat speeds, it can hurt the manatees. So if you're driving, slow down, please, and watch out for manatees. In 1975, school children got them classified as endangered species they survived. And now they are our joy and pride. But when a speedboat speeds, it can hurt the manatees. So if you're driving, slow down, please. And watch out for manatees. Now you're in the boat going slowly, looking over the water, and seeing these big, beautiful animals. Merry man. Gentle and she's free. She's trusting you and me to keep her safe from harm. Very nice. And this driver over here was showing us how to be a slow, safe driver. Very nice. So I also wanted to share that this, these children didn't have to wait to grow up. They organized together, they wrote letters, and the state of Florida protected the manatees that live there. Okay, so now we're going to play a fun game that Sarah Pirtle made up. Brendan, I think if you bring your globe, how about set it carefully, either here or there, because we're going to stand up and move a little bit. 
we're going to, and let's see, I'm going to let Jeanette, I think I'll put Jeanette over here. And you all stand up. Everybody stretch. Oh my get God, a little active died. here. <laughs> I'm going to move my chair. Here we go. Okay. So you all have heard of the Hokey Pokey, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, this is the Recycle Hokey oh Pokey. God. Okay. <laughs> so you're going to pretend to pick up a can. So you put the can in and you put it in the bin. You grind it down and you heat it all around. You do the earth recycle and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Now find a bottle. You take the bottle glass and you melt it down. It makes a new shape and you mold it till it's round. You do the earth recycle and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You take your vegetable peels, but not the foil. You shovel in the ground and it turns into the soil. You do the earth recycle and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Now you're going to tear newspapers. You add the newspapers in to a chemical bath. You make new paper so we can do our math. You do the earth recycle and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Yeah! All right, very good. And believe it or not, it's time for us to say goodbye. So let's come forward to sing our song about to keep on singing. Okay, here we go. Ready? Five, four, three, keep, four. Five, four. three two, one. Keep singing, keep looking up. Keep asking questions and never give up. Keep singing, keep looking up. Keep asking questions and never give up. Thank you, thank you for being here. Do 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 do.